Hi, this is Rick. I've been trying uh, ChatGPT3 uh, quite a bit in the last few weeks. And so one of the things that's quite of incredibly amazing is that it can basically, it's learning how to write scripts for Armor 3. So I'm going to give it an, a little test and show you the output and the speed that this um, large language model currently learns it's it'll blow your mind well, it did me anyway so I'm gonna ask it to write a script for armor 3 Okay, so write a script for Armor 3 that allows players to heal injured AI units that are on the player's side that are in the player's group. The script should place an add action on all AI units in the player's group and use a heal animation on the player. The AI unit should be passed into the add action using cursor object and the AI unit should not be allowed to move until the healing process has completed. Right. And see what happens now depending on the how busy the servers are uh, the response can take up to like 15 to 20 seconds and if uh, you've been using chat gpt3 you'll know that the last few days the servers have been so busy that it actually i couldn't actually get on for like the entire day yesterday and the day before so let's see what it does and that's not a good start Hmm. Doesn't seem to like it. Let's refresh and try again. So maybe Try that. Okay. I didn't like the idea of passing the passing instruction. It didn't understand, I think. Okay, so there was about 10 seconds. Okay. This is not looking too positive.
Okay, it says it's JavaScript, but it actually doesn't know SQF, so it just kind of throws up any scripting language or language. So it chooses an animation, puts it into a local variable, and then it creates a loop. If not, is player X, so it's checking to see that the AI units are not players. All the units are not players. It creates an add action heal, and it calls a function. And it sets a variable on the AI unit, the group unit, heal action. And it places the action on the unit. Then it writes a function called AI heal. It hasn't. It doesn't at this present know know how. Doesn't present moment doesn't know how to pass uh, variables into functions using params. So it uses the old syntax of the select zero and so on. That's amazing. Writing another function, a mission event handler function, which is entity killed. So it's got itself a bit confused there. Or has it? But it actually automatically removes the action using a mission event handler. And then of course it gives you like instructions on how the script works, which is quite amazing. And it says it's passing the AI unit into the function. So it's clearly quite busy at the moment. So it, um, but it seems like it completed. So if we just have a look at the script, um, I mean, given that I've been working on using ChatGPT three or ChatGPT, which is using GPT three, if you want to use Chat. If you want to use GPT-4, you need to subscribe or upgrade to the uh, to ChatGPT-3 Plus or ChatGPT GPT Plus, which then uses ChatGPT-4. Um, from what I gather, ChatGPT-4 is it's not a um, it's a big it's a jump, but not a massive jump. ChatGPT-3 was a huge, or ChatGPT using GPT-3 was a big jump. Um, so this is using GPT-3, and if I look back over the last like week since I've been doing this, it's absolutely obvious that it's learning. It's just amazing. When I first started doing this, it would come up with some you know super simple uh, scripts. It seems to now be learning how to pass variables into functions. It's becoming more advanced. I mean, you can see that it's my instruction was to write a script for Armor 3 that allows players to heal injured AI units that are in the player's group. The script should place an add action on all AI units in the player's group and use a heal animation on the player. That should confuse it a bit. The AI unit should not be allowed to move until the healing process is completed. So if you look at its, its summary of this, it says it defines a healing animation that will be played on the player. It loops through all AI units in the player's group and adds a heal action to their action menu, except for the player. When the heal action is selected, it calls the AI heal function, passes the AI unit as an argument. The AI heal function disables the AI unit's ability to move 
and plays a healing animation on the player. After the animation completes, it sets the AI unit's damage to zero, re-enables its move behavior, and removes the healing variable. Finally, the script adds an event handler to remove the heal action from all units that are either healed or killed. If that doesn't blow your mind, then nothing will. That is just amazing. So let's just look at the script. So it first specifies an animation, a healing animation. I think this is the default uh, animation. Um, let me just go into Armour 3. Just want to see what animation it's chosen. I think it's the default kneeling down. Uh, Hmm. So this animation doesn't look like the right one. So then what it does is it is it instruction wise to put the put an add action on all the AI units. So it looks for the the array of group units within the players group and loops through each one of those elements passes the element into the magic variable x. So if x is not equal to player, so it's not the player, action is equal to x add action, heal, call a function. So it passes the unit, the AI unit, into an AI heal function. And then sets a variable heal action. So let's just see what would actually happen if I ran this. Just copy that text. Sorry, let's copy the text. And this, in this instance, it thought it was Go, the scripting uh, programming language Go, which it clearly isn't. So what it's doing is it's just randomly because it doesn't really know. SQF. It hasn't worked out what it doesn't really understand SQF yet, but it's it's learning. So yeah, so let's just see. We're gonna have lots of errors here. Let's get rid of all that and paste this into there. Okay, so it doesn't come up with an error. That's just good. So now I'm going to create some uh, AI units. And I'm going to create some damage on these units. Okay. Now let's try and execute that. Now let's go and see. Okay, yeah, they're Injured. all limping. Somebody help me. Stop. So. Medic! Need help! Understood! Okay, so I have an action here on this unit and it says heal. And it says undefined variable in expression unit call x. Error, undefined variable in expression x. Okay, so let's just go have, back here and have a look. It says uh, x add action heal. Ah, so here the problem is that within the context of the add action, it's not passing uh, the parameter x into the add action. So the add action, she doesn't know what x is. So with a bit of modification, this can probably be made to work. Okay, so. I made a few modifications, removed the comments, um, moved the, put in a, a better animation because uh, the player needs to kneel down. The AI unit is going to be standing, that is healing. So I'm using a sort of a default medic other animation. It looks like he's uh, kind of bandaging and 
and so on. So I also had to uh, had to uh, pass the variable x into the add action through target. So I just hit params target, pass the target to the AI heal function, and notice that it's using a uh, global variable, so it can be referenced inside the add action, and it's doing this automatically. So all I did was I passed the variable x, which was the magic variable of the current element within the array of units group player into the add action, and passed that variable into target inside the add action. So that it could be referenced when it passes the unit to the AI heal function. In the AI heal function, um, as I said, I changed the animation so that it works. It waits five, five seconds, it then sets the, the unit's uh, damage to zero, it then it re enables its ability to move. And the fact that it's now using mission event handlers and so on is just amazing. I haven't seen it do this, I've seen it using functions, but not going to the extent where it's using a, an entity respawn function so that it can then remove the action on the unit. It's, it's just amazing. And then also it, it thinks to the, to the point that it's actually put in an entity killed action so that you can't try and heal an, a, a unit that's dead. For testing I'm going to put this into, I'm going to spawn this script in the debug console. some other stuff execute yeah it's picking up an ad action on these units you can see they're all kind of damaged so I hit heal and it stopped the AI unit immediately fixed him up and now his damage is zero so it actually worked So now every unit's been healed, courtesy of chat GPT-3. <laughs> How amazing is that? Obviously you can make the script much more advanced and do all sorts of interesting things with it, but um, I mean, just as a, a little training exercise, it's just incredible. I, I've as I said, worked on this for a few weeks now, and uh, I've tried it, and it's, it's without a question of a doubt, ChatGPT is using GPT-3, is definitely learning. It's learned about a whole lot more, a whole lot of things that it didn't understand before, uh, or didn't seem to understand before. Like, for example, creating, creating a, a, a group uh, array of the units in the player's group and cross-checking to see whether the magic variable X is not a player and then and then creating an add action and using uh, variables to monitor the healing action um, uh, and the state like set variable healing and true and false and passing a okay, guy to do the params and then I take the because the target obviously now refers to magic variable X it then passes that into the AI heal uh, when this action is called on the unit the and it got the animation wrong which is not kind of really a major issue I mean there's so many different animations for uh, armor 3 for healing like, like I've got a whole lot here, kneeling, healing other, kneeling, healing other. This one here is like when the player, these are mostly for lying down. Um, and these are sequential, but you can play them individually. 
they're quite useful because you can just pull out a, an animation that suits the particular length that you, well, I mean, I could make the script much more complex, which I, I've already got an AI revive script where the, where the AI units are obviously incapacitated, which is a hugely m more complicated process, but uh, where AI can heal each other and heal players and do all of those things. But um, given that, that it literally wrote this in five seconds or 10 seconds or whatever, it probably a lot less on the actual server side because they had to document it and, and put in all the text. Uh, just mind blowing. Because give this another few months uh, of people using it, uh, it will learn and it will become probably better than, than most scripters in Armour 3, hopefully me as well which will be amazing, because imagine the amount of time that you can save. Um, you obviously need to know how to script and, and understand the SQF language and all of those things as well, so that you can detect problems. But in this particular case, it was relatively simple to fix this uh, the script. I mean, as I said, it was just a case of passing a variable into the add action function and then uh, replacing the animation. And the rest was basically taken care of. So that's pretty, pretty awesome stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this. If I come across some incredible stuff in the future, I'll be posting that. Currently, ChatGPT um, is free. Um, and as I said, it's super busy. So the best time is definitely not on the weekends and or depending on where you are in the world, it's probably better to do it during the, during the day, during the week. And then the servers, even now I can see the servers are getting busy. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this content and are new to this channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can get notified when we release new content. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.